Hi guys, Kevin Lee Jacobs here. Welcome back to my kitchen. Today, I'm going to take a store-bought pizza crust and dress it up with ricotta cheese and some herbs from my garden. Then I'm going to finish it off with some green and yellow summer squash. It's a summer squash pizza that I think you will absolutely love. So let's get started. Put about, oh, a generous cup of ricotta cheese in a medium bowl. Give it a stir just to make it sort of creamy. And then add some garlic salt. Six shakes will give you about a quarter teaspoon. If you have fresh garlic, I forgot to buy it, uh, you could just mince garlic and add that and add a little salt. Then add a, a half teaspoon of Italian seasoning and another half teaspoon or so of crushed red pepper flakes. The pepper flakes will give the um, ricotta a little bit of heat. And I forgot one ingredient, so we have to head out to the garden to find it. Fresh basil. Done. So I have about seven to 10 large basil leaves here. What you do is roll them up from tip end to stem end, or from stem end to tip end, and cut them crosswise into a basil chiffonade. Then, chop. You want the leaves to be fairly fine. Add the chopped leaves to the ricotta mixture. Oh, these leaves smell so good. If you don't have basil in your garden, be sure to buy it at the local farmer's market. Such a great herb. Next, take some summer squash. I have a zucchini here and a yellow crookneck squash. And here's the deal. You want them to be about the same diameter. You don't want the zucchini or the crookneck squash to be too large. Cut off the ends. Use a knife or a mandolin to slice the squash into about eighth inch thick slices. The job goes by very quickly if you're using a mandolin. Do the same for the yellow squash. Oh, I'm cutting the squash over a colander, and I'll show you why in just a moment. My colander is set over a bowl, and yellow and green squash have a ton of liquid in them. They have a ton of water. So what you want to do is get some of that water out. So add about two teaspoons of salt. Give the squash a toss and let it drain for about 15 minutes. The salt will dry out the, the water. Okay, it's only been about five minutes, but look at all the water that's already coming out of the squash. This is good. Next, take the macerated squash and look at all the liquid that came out and spread it out on a green and white kitchen towel or any kitchen towel you happen to have. You can even use paper towels. And then fold the towel over the squash and press just to dry the squash. Set this aside for just a moment. Put the store-bought crust on a rimless baking sheet or on a board. The goal is we're going to be sliding this directly onto an oven rack. Speaking of which, preheat your oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Then take this beautiful, fragrant ricotta mixture, plop it right in the center of the crust, and then take an offset spatula or spoon, the back of a spoon would work, but not as well as an offset spatula, and spread it out 
leaving about a half inch border all around. The ricotta mixture will act as a glue for the summer squash. Now you could top this pizza with only crookneck squash or only zucchini. Um, since I'm using the two different colors, I'm going to arrange them in concentric circles, alternating the yellow and the green. Arrange the squash right up to the edge of the pizza crust. So I've arranged my red and green squash on the pizza. Next, give it a drizzle of extra virgin olive oil. This will help the squash to color. And then top it off with some coarsely ground black pepper. You could add salt too if you had added just uh, minced garlic earlier. Since I used garlic salt, I don't need any extra salt. This is heading into the 400 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. We want the crust to turn very crispy and the squash to just color a little bit. So I'll be right back. Pizza's done and it looks beautiful. Slide the pizza onto a wooden board for easy carving. Cut the pizza into eight wedges. I'm going to serve this pizza with some ice cold Pinot Grigio because it's really hot here today. About 106 heat index. Whew. Taste test. A crisp crackling crust, a creamy herbal garlicky center, and a topping of green and yellow summer squash. There isn't anything about this pizza that doesn't make my engine purr. I hope you'll give it a try someday. I'll see you next time with another delicious recipe. Bye for now.